So LA could be mandating electric ride sharing. Mayor Garcetti in LA said, we have the power to regulate car share. We can mandate and are looking closely at mandating that any of those vehicles in the future be electric. So what is he talking about? So he's talking about Uber and Lyft. Basically, Uber and Lyft are, for those of you uninitiated, it's basically like taxis uh, that you get on an app. And because it's not an actual taxi, they have a separate set of regulations, which means that the city gets to regulate it to whatever they want. Right. I mean, so in L.A., they have a green plan for 2028, which includes purchasing more electric buses and municipal EVs. And the goal is to have 30 percent of all light duty passenger cars on the road be electric and 80 percent of vehicles sold in L.A. be electric. So by forcing Uber and Lyft to use EVs, that could really help with the whole butts in seats effect. Right, because when people get into a Tesla or into many electric cars, they're often impressed by a lot of different things. Um, one is that the driver is usually ecstatic to be driving that car, especially when it's a Tesla. It's got all that torque. It's got, uh, you know, it's silent, it's clean, it's cheap to uh, maintain and to fuel. So I think it's a win for basically anyone who wanted to become a Lyft or Uber driver, because we have personally talked to Uber and Lyft drivers, both EV and non-EV. Those that are driving Model 3s are so happy with them because they are making more money yeah. than other Uber and Lyft drivers because they don't have to pay for gas. Exactly. And so this is going to be, I think, potentially a boon for drivers. I think it'll definitely be a boon for, for passengers. It'll be a boon for everyone else in the city because now you have non-polluting vehicles driving around. It'll be a big win for EVs because now more people are going to be exposed to more EVs. It'll be a lot more normal to see. It will push the necessity to have more EV charging. It's just a it's a big, long list of really good reasons to do this. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how they implement it. Now, on a similar story, if we go to the other coast in New York, New York has said no to e-bikes. Well, not New York per se. Mostly Governor Cuomo. Yeah, so, I mean, the Senate passed 56 to 6, uh, an e-bike law, and the Assembly passed 137 to 4, this e-bike law, but then it sat on Governor Cuomo's desk and he didn't sign it. He said, failure to include these basic measures renders this legislation fatally flawed. Specifically, with respect to e-bikes, the throttle motor that allows a rider to increase speed without pedaling renders e-bikes indistinguishable from mopeds, which are already regulated and require license plates and driver's licenses. So indistinguishable, except for the top speed, except for the power, except for the pedals uh, and the, the weight. There's a lot of things that are completely different between mopeds and e-bikes. Yeah, I mean, so for instance, uh, on an e-bike, the motor is limited to 750 watts. On a moped, it can go much higher than that. Right. Um, speed. On a bicycle, on a regular old bicycle with no motor, you can get a bicycle up to speeds of, you know, 90 miles an hour down a hill if you want to. Right. And even on flat ground, you can get up to 40 if you're going, if you're like a really good right. bicyclist. So, and they're, I mean, a regular old bicycle is dangerous. Like you're sitting up high and if you fall off it or, you know, bump into something, you're going to get seriously hurt. Right. So, yeah, I don't, I, I think what this is, is it's a money grab by the state. If you regulate them and force people to get driver's licenses for them, license plates for them, possibly insure them, that's money the state can make. And I think they're like, oh, we're missing out on the money. And it just goes back to the question of, so you don't have any regulation for bicycles, right? Little Timmy can get a bike. He doesn't have to go down to the DMV, get his, you know, biking license, have to take any kind of test. There might be a helmet law. But besides that, there's not too much that's going to regulate him. If he's riding somewhere like on the sidewalk where he shouldn't be, a cop can stop him and write him a ticket. Right. But he doesn't need to have a number plate. He doesn't, you know, why just because there's a motor on it, does that change anything? And also, this is unenforceable because right. there are a lot, a lot of e-bikes that do not look like e-bikes whatsoever. And there's just no way that you'd be able to be like, that's an e-bike. I'm pulling you over and writing you up, buddy. And... What, what are you saying to everyone? You're basically saying you better get in a car unless you are a Tour de France kind of guy. Yeah. I, I just, it's so stupid. You could be solving traffic problems so easily by just saying e-bikes, heck yeah. It's such an easy fix. That's why the Senate and the Assembly said yes. <sighs> So no one expected annoying. the governor to say no. Thanks for watching this clip. You can watch the whole episode by clicking this card or by clicking the link in the video description down below. Now you know.